episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Today we're going to talk about what I consider the world's most sensual car company, Aston Martin. We have a production model here and a concept car that was featured at Pebble Beach, and we are very honored and proud to have that at my garage. But uh, we'll start with this one first. Let's bring in uh, Julian Jenkins. You're the regional director, Aston Martin. Is that the correct title? That's right, Jay. Regional director. There we go. Good to meet you. And this is called the Volante? The Vanquish Volante. Vanquish yep. Volante. Okay. So once again, let's go over the specifics of people. V12? Normally aspirated, V12, 6 litre, uh, 565 brake horsepower, 457 pound-feet of torque. All carbon fiber body right. on this car. Um, as you can see, carbon ceramic brakes. Um, suspension is, uh, is very much tuned for, uh, for this car. And of course, the transmission, six-speed automatic. You know, I always call this the most sensual car companies because there's something innately very sexy about Aston Martins. They're not out-out sports cars. They are grand touring cars that handle like a sports car. Is that fair to say? It is. It's what we pride ourselves on. Yeah. Whilst we've got the sporting heritage, uh, clearly what we, uh, right. we also guys, provide is the grand tours. You've won Le Mans and all that kind of thing. But a lot of people say, I want a hardcore sports car. And then they go, oh, my back and my wife's hair is blowing around. I don't want... They want something that's comfortable and fast. You know, I defy you to drive one of these cars and not take the long way home. That's kind of the fun thing about them. They, they handle... The, you're very cocooned in the car, I guess I would say. I love the interiors, I love driving them. This is the first time I've uh, driven a convertible. I tend to like the coupe myself, but this is a very sexy car. Uh, it has four seats. I guess you could put people back there if you wanted. You can. Yeah, you can move the seat up a little bit. So, but it's basically a two plus two. What does this car weigh? Uh, this car is uh, just over 4,000 pounds. Okay. Um, but uh, certainly in terms of the driving, the dynamics of this car, um, say it drives uh, uh, almost to, to, to a feel of, of much lighter than that. It's very nimble. Right. Um, you know, the steering rack, the agility of this car, um, very much about creating that sporting feel uh, whilst you've got that grand touring capability. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite burnouts was in a Aston Martin. Take a look. <laughs> you no doubt you're driving a sports car yeah just wonderful driving cars <laughs> I, I, again it's hard to convey it's just that perfect balance between comfort and firmness that that i like now right next to us here is a really exciting car that caught me completely by surprise i'd heard about it i didn't expect to see it at pebble beach and i was thrilled when i saw it up there and to even complement that situation i had the chance to talk to uh, dr bez he is the uh, ceo of Aston Martin, and one of my heroes, he's one of those great car guys. He's the man that, well, he would never say this, but he's credited, I think, with saving Porsche back in the 80s and 90s, the 993, mm -hmm. and he's just a wonderful engineer, but a true car guy. You know, it is the perfect blend of Aston Martin heritage with modern running gear and dynamics. It looks like the 1959 winner, sort of. Look, looks like the great-great-grandchild of that car. modern interpretation of that, I think, is what our styling team would say. Yeah. And, and a car which links you know, back as much to the Le Mans, the 1959 DBR1, um, which, of course, was the car that also won the Nürburgring um, uh, 1,000 kilometers. Uh, uh, we're open here. Look at this. No windshield. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's fantastic. It's uh, very much about the driving experience in, in this car. And, right. uh, but it's, a, as you say, a, um, a, a working car. This is uh, more than just a concept. Um, we've, uh, this is actually a customer's car that we're looking at. And, oh, it uh, is a customer's it car. Is, it is indeed, and a very fortunate customer. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, a car that uh, is, is engineered um, very much for, uh, for, for driving, and the car has already been on the, uh, the Nürburgring. Um, wow, will this car stay a, in the States and go overseas somewhere? Uh, this car will uh, unfortunately go overseas. Wow. So, the, wow. So, the, now this was this built at the customer's request? Or did the fact you built it and the customer said, I have to have that? It was a combination of the two. Uh, obviously, 100 years of, uh, of Aston Martin this year. We wanted right. to do something special. Um, this was a great way of, of demonstrating what our uh, styling and engineering capabilities were, particularly off the, the, uh, the VH platform that we've got, which right. has infinite flexibility. But of course, um, you know, for a customer as well, the, uh, um, the desire, the opportunity to create a, uh, a true one off. And who was the designer of this one? This is Marek Reichman, our oh, designer who designs okay, all of sure. our cars. Now, he uh, obviously is the man behind the 177. That's correct. Uh, and those all sold out at a million, what, a million six, a million seven? Uh, one, one point eight. One point eight million. Okay, one point mm -hmm. eight. Oh, jeez, I was underselling them. You can get one for one six, buy it, okay? 
which was just an amazing car. It was the ultimate Aston Martin. What did that have, 750 horse? Uh, it's uh, 7, 750 was Something what we like had. That, yep, yeah. 7.3 liter engine. I saw those being built at the factory over there. And the factory, again, again, it looks like a hospital for cars. It's just an amazing place, very quiet, a lot of engineers going about their business. It's 55 carbon panels that we're looking at here. Right. Um, and uh, as you can see, really, um, in terms of uh, the, the actual shape and the design of the car, as much about form as it is function. Uh, underneath the hood there, we've got the 565 uh, brake horsepower here? engine. We actually lift the entire engine oh, I see. The panel whole thing. off. Oh, the whole thing comes off. For access okay. to, uh, to the engine. Very good, very good. And as you can see, you know, neat little features as well, having a little bit of fun, harking back to the, uh, the 1959 DBR1, but you can see that uh, cutaway is uh, half of the Aston Martin wings in the, in the door. Let's see how yeah. this opens. Oh, there you there go. go. As you can see, with the, uh, the swan wing, very similar to yeah. our road cars. Yeah, nobody's going to break into this baby when this thing's locked, believe me. Nicely done. No, tell me what the Q means. Well, the Q is actually our um, bespoke commissioning area in, okay. uh, in Aston Martin and uh, something that we've uh, been growing over the, the course of the last few years. Uh, opportunity for customers to, to customize their cars in, in many ways in terms of color and trim. But as you can see, this is really taking it to the other extreme. Yeah, you can really, that's the cool thing about Aston Martin. The company's small enough so you can really personalize the car. Absolutely. Which is, uh, really makes it exciting. They're just wonderful cars to drive. It's, I, I wish I was better conveying the feeling of driving these cars, but they're just a lot of fun. And I love the use of the traditional leather in the seats. And I love the, uh, the exposed aluminum, on the, or aluminum. Aluminum. So, aluminum, sorry. Mm -hmm. On the floor, that's very cool. And you got the proper fly-off handbrake, and you got your five-point harness. And of course, these are fantastic. Yeah, which is functional as well, obviously, with the pop-up in terms of the rollover right, protection right. on here as well. Very so I talk about done. this being a fully functional car, um, engineered to be so. And this opens here, or this co comes off? This, this lifts off. That section lifts off, oh, as does the, uh, okay. the hood. Boy, there's not a bad angle on this car anywhere. There really isn't. This is very special and uh, a great birthday present to ourselves and a very yeah. fortunate customer to, uh, to own it. Now, as I said earlier, I had a chance to run into Dr. Bez up on uh, the lawn at Pebble Beach, and... Uh, he was so excited about this car. <laughs> it was very funny. He's like a kid. He gets all worked up. He's so excited. He had to show me this car, and I was thrilled for him to do it. Well, here, here's that interview. Take a look. Well, we're here with, uh, has to be the, what's, it, what's your official title? Chief executive. Chief executive of probably the most sensual car company in the world, Aston Martin, uh, Dr. Ehrlich Benz. Now, he is uh, one of my heroes because he took a company that we've all known and loved, and it wasn't really very... It wasn't making a lot of money, and he's turned it into just a beautiful car company that's successful. They've got just a fantastic factory. I've been to the factory. It looks like a hospital for automobiles. It's just mm -hmm. a beautiful, clean, modern, green, and this is his latest interpretation. You know, it is so hard to make a modern car look good because you have so many rules and regulations. Headlights have to be this side, you can't do this, can't do that. And the fact that you're able to do this uh, this is based on the 1959 winner, correct? It's the aspiration. Aspiration. Of the line. Aspira okay. Aspirational. Yeah, okay, I guess the Simplicity, question. basic, yeah. great looking yeah. proportions. Well, tell us, tell us how this came about. See, that's a yeah. door. There you go. <laughs> that's a door, yeah. Yeah, yeah this, it, it is very simple. Uh, Aston Martin is 100 years old this right. year. And we have to have something which catches the heritage, right. but also looks in the future. Right. And this is why we made this car, taking the heritage, taking the history, and the best of history was the 59 DPR one with Carl Shelby sure. and, and Sir Sterling Moss on, yeah. on, on the wheels, winning the world championship. Yeah. And this is what we, what we did. The base of this car is one of our successful V12 Vantages, right. our most sportiest, tight, small right. car and we made a shape on this where we see that design elements of this will be in future cars right so it's really something which looking in the future yeah well if i mean it, it's it's really hard to capture the future and the past at the same time but you've, you've really done it because if you don't know the past it's just a beautiful car and if you do know the past it's a beautiful car and you see the styling cues that harken back to that era. And uh, boy, it, you've really hit a home run. All carbon fiber, all, right? All carbon fiber, yes. Yeah. I mean, look at all this. And I love the color. What is this color? 
this is stilling stilling green to uh, so you're stilling moss. Oh, it's a stilling moss. It's, okay. So it's a stilling green. Oh, okay, <laughs> stilling green. All right, there you go. There yes, you go. Uh, well, it's just beautiful, and it's a V12, uh, six-speed gearbox. Uh, no, it's a seven-speed gearbox. Seven-speed. Seven-speed gearbox. Seven speed gearbox. Okay. Nicely done. And you know, we are we are hundred years old, but we are still an exclusive company. Most hundred years old company like Ford Motor Company, right. they are big, like Daimler, they are big. Others disappeared yeah. or are under the roof of uh, big manufacturers. Right, right. We are still an independent company yeah. and we are 100 years old and by this we have a very special role in preserving the past, admiring the past, but having a few for the future and, and the future for the company. You know, it's interesting to watch the British motor industry come back the way you guys have. Uh, you know, you had Morgan is of course English and Aston Martin now being 100 years old and probably stronger now than it's ever been in any point we, in its we, life. We have a lineup. This is the the the, yeah. the, the, van, uh, the Vanquish, uh, Volante, which we just launched here for the uh, for the American market. Goes in press launch yeah. in, in October uh, here in America. This is of course then a little bit more uh, yeah. the, the car you would you would go uh, somewhere. I remember an Aston Martin story. A guy wanted to buy a car from David Brown. And David Brown gave him a quote. And then David Brown, and then the guy said, "Well, listen, I don't want that. I want the pro I want you to sell it to me what it cost cost you." Okay. And he charged him another five hundred dollars because yes. he was losing money on every car. Yeah, this is this is one what we can't afford anymore. And, and uh, when you, you know, in in these hundred years, we have built sixty-five thousand cars. Right. Fifty thousand in the last ten years. Let's talk about your background. I have worked for sixteen years with Porsche. Because when I became head of engineering there, I was asked to replace the 911. Yeah. Uh, and after some months, I came back to the board and said, "No, we're going to develop further, develop uh, the 911, which then was the 993, the last air-cooled one." Right. And because of this single thing, I think the 911 is still alive. And exactly. It's still, still a great car. Exactly. I was with, I was with BMW. The BMW. Right. I made the the, the, the Z1. Was responsible for the Z1. This car with the sliding doors, which didn't oh, come, right, right. which didn't come to America, no. but was a little bit of this aspiration. We stuck a few of, in. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah about, about hundred. Well, see, he's got here. he's got the car credits. He's the guy that can do it. There aren't many executives. There are also engineers, and he is one of the few. So we're going to drive this car at my garage, so it's very exciting. Doctor, yep. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you. thank you. Well, if you'd like to know more about Dr. Bez, this is a book called Making Aston Martin, and it's uh, his story. You know, there aren't many standout individuals. Like, in the old days, you had Fred Duesenberg, and you had W.O. Bentley, and certainly Enzo Ferrari. In the modern world, there's not many guys like Dr. Bez. He's the guy that I mentioned earlier. Did, where did you get this book? Actually, yeah, purchased through um, through the company. Through the company, or go online somewhere. But it's uh, it's his story, and it's 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 beautifully laid out. And he is a real a real enthusiast, a real car guy. As you said, he drove this car, the Nurburgring. That's right. Yes, um, and uh, uh, certainly it's a track that he knows well, and uh, he uh, certainly had some fun going around that track yeah. at some speed. Yeah. Well, there he is, right there. So you'd like to know more about Aston Martin? Here it is, right here. And uh, how many cars a year they produce? Um, last year we did about 4,000 cars. I know, because I can remember when 40 cars a year was a was That's the right, it was one market. year when we did that. It was one year where they did just 40 cars, and this is the guy that brought them into the 21st century and uh, make these modern, terrific, very sensual, beautiful sports cars. So uh, check out this book as well, but right now, I'm gonna take this for a ride. Suddenly, it's 1959 at Le Mans. That's correct. Very cool. Very lucky. Because anytime you take off weight, you're adding horsepower. So this has what, 565 horsepower? 565 horsepower, 6 liter. 6 no liter. aspirated P12. The same weight as that GT4 yeah. race car. Now, this is not my car, so I just got to take it easy, but I'm so tempted. Oh! Okay, 
may not have the air conditioning, but it's got the heater in it. This is a car that should be in my garage. I, I live in the perfect place, the perfect temperature. This car should be in my garage. in it, you've got the coolest combination of all. I love having no windshield. Fantastic. You know, this, this is sort of like back in the 1930s when you could go to a car company and tell them what you wanted and they would build it or modify it to your specifications. And that's what this is. It's like getting a suit tailor-made or, or any other piece of clothing, except it's an automobile. The person who bought this car wanted something that looked like this, and they got one of the best designers in the world to do it, and this is the result. Now, although something like this is expensive, I would guess it's still cheaper than a Bugatti Veyron or one of some of those other exotics. You start essentially with a donor car, and you rebody it the way you want. I think it's a great idea. Well, this is what Q's all about. This is yeah. what we may see for the future. And I like it, it's Q. Remember Q from James Bond with all the gadgets? I mean, your hair looks ridiculous, but who cares? Boy, this thing's a lot of fun. As I said, you know, so many concept cars you drive and they go, well, don't turn the wheel all the way because the, the tire will hit the wheel well and no, and then it's not a fully functioning automobile. This is a 100% driving functioning car. You could take it out and go 180 miles an hour if you wanted. I can because it's not my car and they'll kill me. But uh, you can really drive it as a fully functioning car. That's what's so exciting. You know, as I said earlier, so many concept cars are just body bucks or whatever. They, they, they don't really work. Not only is the styling beautiful, the car actually works with this styling, and it makes it really exciting to drive. So uh, let's take it out some more. Imagine that, it's almost a thousand pounds lighter than the standard car. That's amazing. What a thrill that is. Uh, you know, to see a car on the lawn, a concept car on the lawn at Pebble Beach, and then a week later have it show up in your uh, garage, it doesn't get any more exciting than that. I want to thank Julian and, of course, uh, Dr. Bez, the real genius behind Aston Martin. Pick up a copy of that book. I think you'll find it fascinating. You know, there aren't a lot of heroes in the car world anymore, but he's certainly one of them. So, Dr. Bez, thank you very much. Thanks, Aston Martin. And the owner of this car. I feel like I was dating your wife or something. It's a, it's a very personal experience. So thank you for letting me drive your car. We were very gentle with it. We didn't uh, do any burnouts or anything, much as I would have liked to. So thank you very much, and we'll see you all next week. Julian, do you, you go over the top or over the bottom? Over Let's the go bottom. Over the bottom. Yeah, the whole protocol to, to do this thing. See you guys next week. What a thrill this was. Mm-hmm. <laughs>